This is my infinity mirror and I'm gonna show you how I made it. It all started when I saw Adam Savage's video where he made this cool infinity mirror with Matt Parker and I thought to myself, I can probably make a way shittier version in less time. <laughs> this is my plan. I'm gonna make the object out of plexiglass, attach a mirror film to it and place some LED strips inside. That way, the light from the LED strips is gonna bounce a few times inside the object before penetrating the wall, giving it the illusion of an infinity mirror. Firstly, I need to make all the faces of the object. Here I am creating a single face from paper. The object is called a rhombic dodecahedron and it's made from 12 faces, where each face is the same, so I can actually use my paper cut out to sketch all of the faces on the plexiglass. Since I don't have any decent cutting tools, I'll have to cut out the faces with a hacksaw, which is a huge pain, especially because my saw doesn't have a big gap between the frame and the blade, so I had a problem with making some deep cuts. Now we have all the faces, but as you can see, the edges are garbage. Let's sand them to make the geometry more precise. Just dot tape the faces together, so all of them are sanded evenly. The edges are looking decent, so we can remove the protective layer and attach a mirror film. You can think of it as a mirror that lets some light pass through and reflects the rest. The one I bought has a layer of glue on one side, so I just need to peel off the cover and press it onto the face. Now that all the mirrors are finished, we can finally start building up the dodecahedron. Just make sure the side with mirror film is facing out and keep attaching more faces with the duct tape. Alright, it's probably a good idea to stop here, so we can add the lights. These are the key to making the dodecahedron alive. I got these high density LED strips because they look much better than the normal ones. But how do we attach them? There's a few ways to do this and all of them are terrible, but this is the least painful one. You highlight these four rhombi and pick one. Start at the obtuse angle, go around the rhombus and then go two edges up. Do the same for the adjacent rhombus. The last two rhombi are similar, you just go two edges down to cover the other half. Therefore, we need to cut four LED strips and connect them with jumper wires. Just make sure you cut the LED strips only at the cut marks, otherwise you will break the circuit and they won't work. Hot gluing the first strip wasn't too bad, but adding more faces and soldering jumper wires made it much more difficult. The jumper wires kept breaking and I was making a mess with the hot glue. This took me more time than I want to admit, but it was all worth it at the end. Now we just need to power it. For that I soldered the LED strips to an old phone charger with these helping hands I built in my previous video. I also added electrical tape to make it look better and it is done. Just as I finished this project, the circuit boards for my hexapod finally came. I am also close to finishing these wall climbers and I got a few other projects I've been working on behind the scenes. So make sure to subscribe if you wanna see that. Thank you guys for watching, see you soon.